Uh, we have a new warning tonight about the spread of false information as we approach Election Day. Tonight, Aid on Your Side is working to identify the bad actors responsible. And as investigator Masa Saidi explains, the threat comes from inside and outside the U.S. So first, a quick lesson. Misinformation is when you spread false information unknowingly, so there's no intent to mislead. A lot of this on your news feed right now. Disinformation is different. That's when you spread false information and there is an intent to mislead. The good news, you can spot this and stop this. With the 2020 race in the home stretch, a supervisor of elections from the Panhandle's Leon County sounding the alarm. We're getting hundreds of calls a day uh, from voters. One is just a lot of disinformation and misinformation out there. So a lot of disinformation operations are run just purely for profit. Brett Schaefer is with the bipartisan group Alliance for Securing Democracy. His research focuses on state backed disinformation. The worst offender, Russia followed by China and Iran. But the greatest threat may be closer to home. Uh, my bigger fear this time around is what's going to happen domestically. Uh, what we've seen, if you compare it to 2016, has been an explosion of the number of actors who are out there who have the uh, capacity and the capability to run very sophisticated disinformation campaigns. There's the current rumors about widespread fraud and mail-in voting. Schaefer fears the lies to come about delays election night. Cyber criminals targeting the results, causing chaos and confusion. How can we spot disinformation? I think we tend to focus a lot on the content itself. So that would be a specific uh, narrative or a piece of audio or an image that has been manipulated in some way. Schaefer says you have to be on the lookout for phony stories and accounts. Bad actors don't just want to spread fake news. They want to influence your behavior. And election officials say before you share a story, Google the headline. See what agencies are covering that story. If you don't recognize any of the outlets, that's likely an indication that the story is false. Masa Saidi, 8 on your side.